stop stalling. So, for anyone who saw my um, original video of 811, uh, this title might sound familiar. Um, to anyone who didn't, uh, this will all be unfamiliar territory to you. Um, which is good. And exciting. <laughs> Uh, this is 811. Um, it is, well, to be more specific, this is the first chapter of the game 811. Um, produced by, um, Dubuque or Goth6669 on Ichio. Um, I won't get too much into the story, but... Um, definitely a psychological horror RPG maker title, uh, with a lot of themes of religion, um, dreams, um, and body horror, and, and lots of that kind of thing. Um, but basically they released one version of the game a while back. And uh, this is their updated version of the game, uh, which is supposed to have a lot of new artwork, um, potentially new characters, um, maybe new scenes. Um, so I, I'm not sure what to expect from this updated version, but I'm really excited. I, I've, I was blown away by the first, the first chapter, and apparently this is just the, the blown away, blowing away, like new and improved version. So anyways, let's get into it. Uh, let's dive right in. And the best thing is, it's like, it's been, I think, at least a year? So some of this will be familiar to me, and some of this won't. It's like the perfect amount of time. Uh, don't worry, it is windowed. It is not broken. I can see the boxes! Uh, and whenever you see these boxes, they are to illustrate texts that the main character doesn't in understand because French is their native language. And uh, there, there are some gory things uh, in this game. So uh, hopefully you're 18 plus if you are viewing this stream right now. I, of course, myself am <laughs> above that age. <sighs> Time sucks. Uh, turn on epilepsy safety. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, no, I, I don't need I, I don't need that, but I will keep it on. All right. Walk, space, menu, and run. Mm -hmm. So shift, space, and menu. Got it. Run. Du toi Got it. We're in. Oh good. Nothing like breaking in breaking and entering. At last, shelter. The storm caught on so quickly. I don't know where we are anymore. I think our town map is outdated. We should have found that bus stop before we found this place. My clothes are drenched to hell and back. Mm. Is this place actually abandoned? It doesn't look or feel empty. We'll be fine, as long as we're out of that storm. Mm. Aha! I can start us a fire. For light using that trash can. Ah, hobo method. Here, let me light a match for us. Mm, I must have dropped my matches when we were running away from the rain. 
let's say, would you happen to have any extra matches with you, Riker? Ah, introduction. Protagonist. Riker Dublin, 28, France, priest. My hat and coat got drenched, but I don't think my bag got damaged. Do you think we'll have to spend the night here, Leon? Secondary character. Leon. Do not know how old he is. France, priest. They are priest buddies. The storm continues, and so be it. Next time this happens, let's find a hotel instead of a creepy, desolate building. <laughs> right. Well, I think I'm gonna wander around here for a bit. I'm interested in what this place looks like. Suit yourself. Yell if you encounter a raccoon. Keep that flashlight on you. All right. We are our wonderful big hat wearing Riker. Mother Mary dolls. Oh, those are our, our safe points. Interesting. Nice. Looks like the man has not slept in a week. Pile of discarded Bibles. All appear in rough shape. Torn pages, water damage covers, and dead bugs. Ooh, a little flower, though. Stamp, stamp. Box. Oh, this is what Leon looks like. Quite a handsome man. Hacker, don't touch any dead rats you find. Oh, and here's Riker. I don't think I considered it to begin with. Of course. Then let me know if you need anything. Man, there's so much trash here. Oh. There's this glowing area over here. Ah! Broken mirror. Don't step on any glass. I'm sure Leon's going to cover this mirror up. He does that everywhere we go to help his paranoia. His paranoia of mirrors? Hmm. But he has such a nice face. So why would he not like looking in mirrors? Doesn't like his reflection. Oh, it's like a garden here. I guess it's really abandoned if it's this overgrown. Takes a lot of effort to open it. Can I go back in? Oh, it looks a lot. Looks like I'm forced over here. Uh oh. these stained glass windows. Another mirror. More stairs. Like a an idol for Mary, it looks like. A sheep! More sheep! Can, uh, wait, no. How do I go with my menu? Oh! Look at this little... Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, how do I load my save? I wanted to... I'd want to make sure I wasn't missing anything there. So I kind of got forced into that area. Oh, that's all that was up here. A shrine with Mother Mary and two figures behind her. You can't name them properly, as they have been defaced with graffiti. Okay. I eh, just wanted to make sure. I always get paranoid when you get... <laughs> you start getting hurt in one way. <laughs>
fuck it. Okay, okay, it, it's fine. Sheep! Sheep live here. I don't, I don't like that face and this... I don't know what you'd call this. Old armoire? Books about priesthood orientation. Or, or ordination, sorry. Ordination. That's like the act of being ordained, I believe. What is ordination? Ordination is a ceremony for when a man becomes a priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Becomes one with the church. There are many different rituals that can be performed. Some rituals include the laying on of hands. Oh, yeah, I have he I've heard about this. It's a very interesting ritual, actually. It's like the Pope comes out, and, and yeah, he, he literally, like, puts his hands on the priest, and, like, that's, like, the officiation of, like, how they become officially a priest. The laying on of hands ritual invites the Holy Spirit to come down upon the one to be ordained, giving him a sacred transmission of a divine gift and identification. This can only be led by a bishop. Oh, I'm sorry. A bishop. Wow. A priest can be assigned to an ordination if he has correctly followed the steps beforehand. Attending school, taking vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity are some of the many steps. Yeah. Cool stuff. You put the book down. These books are dusty and falling apart. Looks like the sheep were eating them. Yeah, I, I'll have to someday ask, um, what, what would you say, uncle-in-law? Uncle-in-law, my, my fiance's uncle is a priest, so he would know about ordination. The, the act of being ordained and what he did to do that. My grandfather clock, it looks undisturbed. Minus the thick layer of dust coating it. Oh! A little letter. Where did this come from? Eight. It's a solid black piece of paper, dark as the night, missing its stars, with a number eight sketched on it in white. Something on the back. Communications are short. Find us next at 27, 24, 26. Huh. Discarding the random paper into your pockets, your attention is drawn to the old torn up book. Excuse me. The book under the envelope is French and covers the topic of dreams. Sure, why not? Flipping your random page, you begin to read. Dreams are involuntary images produced from the mind that occur during sleep. The context be behind every dream will remain unanswered. But there are theories that give dreams meaning. Dreams can give people a variety of reactions to them. Dreams have been recorded to be sexual, magical, frightening, adventurous, silly, or even surreal. Twelve years ago, dreams were recorded to be in black and white until color TV was introduced. While color TV isn't as popular as it's used to, people now claim to have dreams in color. That's super interesting to me because I'm trying to recall if I've ever had a dream in color. Because... I feel like most of my dreams are very hazy and, and gray. In the same way that I'm not able to... Um, like when I imagine something when I'm awake, like, if I, I try and imagine something in my mind, I can't imagine it in color. But I... I'm trying to think if I've ever had any dreams that employed color or not. I feel like I must have, but they aren't coming to mind at this point. I wonder if those two things are, are, are connected. There's a phrase for that? It's not... I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's like, the ability to if if you can see in your mind's eye whether or not you can see something very detailed or not anyways tangent 
The rest of the text begins to fade, making it more difficult to read. People have reported having lucid dreams. Oh, those are the weirdest ones. A lucid dream is when someone is fully aware they're dreaming. I have had those. I have had those, and they're weird. Inside a lucid dream, the dreamer can control some aspects of what they see. You can recount the time you lucid dream too, can't you? I can! And that's the worst! <laughs> I never have good lucid dreams, by the way. <laughs> they're always bad ones. I always realize I'm in a dream and then try and make myself wake up. The rest of the pages hold overlapping text that makes it difficult to read any further. Weird. Let's read something else. I, I want to read about ordination again. Uh. Well then. No. Well, rest in peace, Leon. <laughs> Sorry, my dude. Oh, good. The cake wasn't ruined. I wonder what Riker is doing. Or where they went off to. This church looked to be multiple floors when we found it. I should find them. Oh, we are Leon now. Oh, Leon, it's dangerous. <laughs> just learned of your your potential demise filled with random items religious themed books papers and miscellaneous goods just stay near the fire <laughs> or the cherub What do you have to say about the mirror? He doesn't say anything about it. Just careful not to step on any glass. Oh, he recognizes the figures, even though they've been scribbled on. Dante and Virgil. It's difficult to make out the faces of Dante and Virgil in the artwork. Interesting. But he still recognizes them. A random book. Ah! Did the storm cause a blackout? Can't be that. I can't even hear the storm anymore. All the sounds of the rain have paused. Do I still have my lighter on me? Got it. Uh-oh. My head hurts. This loud noise. Oh, wait. Don't- What? Another eclipse engulfs the hallway. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Hmm. I take a step back. Here before me stands one who looks like a man. Are you here for me? Mm. Quickly biting your tongue, you keep all dialogue inside your head. Mm. <laughs> is that an illusion? Difficult to tell. I should check in with Riker and make sure everything is okay. Yeah. You know. Let's just ignore the scary, glowing eyes, man. I think that's a good idea. Ooh, there's his portrait. That's pretty cool. Also, I feel like we went through that door and the hallway is now different for Leon than it was for Riker. I feel like the space is not... The space is not consistent here. I feel like I went through the same door and came out in two different places. That's not cool. Oh, there's big old moths. Also, does he say anything about the sheep? 
Well, I can't go back. Never mind. Old books dress in spider webs. We love books. Have to reconsider taking these. I love these books. I want to keep them. Nice few worn spines and ripped pages. These books are all in great condition despite being abandoned. A certain book gets your attention. You take it without second, second thought and glance over the text. Topping an intrigues you enough to take the book. Oh, I'm keeping it. <laughs> you never knew how to play. Ah, oh, pity. Nice looking book. There's a Bible here that has crude drawings plastered on every page. Damn, son. Don't draw on the bibble. Yeah, like, how is this space so big? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's small enough to not bother you, but its presence still gets under your skin. Mm, so it's big mirrors. Like this! <laughs> A mirror that fails to show your reflection, but you knew this would happen. What? Ah! Did I see something move inside the mirror? Or was it my brain being fooled by the lightning? I'm paranoid. I shouldn't do this here, but carefully peek at the contents inside your Bible. Ah, so he carries a Bible with him. Hmm. 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 I see. How much more time do I have? Oh, so does is he like aware of his own impending doom? You pull out a pocket watch and read the time. I need to find Riker. Oh, he covered it up. That's kind of creepy, though. His own reflection wasn't shown in the mirror. Is that why he doesn't like mirrors? Because he, he can't even see himself in them? That's creepy. There's a thick layer of dust on this furniture. Drag your index finger over the top, creating these swiggle lines all over it. <laughs> well, I can go in here. What about that weird... Well, hold on. What about that door? Oh, he gets a little, uh... He gets a little thing, too. Wait, 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 wait. What's with that door? With the, the arrows? What about sketchy door? Oh, I can talk to the sheep, too. Okay, it doesn't say anything about the sheep. What about sketchy door? Extremely suspicious door. Extremely suspicious. Yeah. Oh. There's something strange about this door. It won't open unless a key number is punched in. You punch in a random sequence of numbers that come to your mind. I shouldn't play with trivial things. Okay. So we'll have to come back to that. Okay. 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 Yeah, because now the space is consistent. This is the room that Riker came into. Weird. Space themed books. I see the time I took Riker to the planetarium for their birthday. I think they turned 25? Because when they turned 24, we went to the clothing store and I got them that shoulder bag they like. Get him some decent clothes. Oh. Was this here before? This little thing? A little mirror. A drowned rat sits at the bottom of the barrel. The water came from a leaky roof. Oh. Gross. The grandfather clock still works? I don't remember falling asleep. I, I must have dozed off by accident. How long have I been out? 
That book was just so interesting. Riker, oh heavens, there the, you are. Are you okay? Huh? What's going on? Oh, I think I passed down on the floor by accident. Thank goodness you're all right. I can't tell how old this place is, but the structure doesn't seem evenly supported. I let my mind create the worst possibilities about what could have happened to you. I'm fine. You're just too paranoid, old man. You really startled me, though. <laughs> Was that it? You're just paranoid about the structure of the place? Like the ceiling falling down on me? It sounds so fitting for you, Leon. Net... Neten fe pa. Don't worry. I don't want to talk to this anymore. I want to start celebrating! I bought this at the train station when you were getting us tickets and coffee. Surprise! Oh, look at that tasty cake. It's your favorite gâteau all yours. Yogurt cake. Birthday present. T today is... Dude, you forgot your own birthday? Joyeux anniversaire, Riker. I wanted to wait until later tonight to surprise you, you know? Before the big ordination. Oh, so he's like in training and he, and he hasn't been ordained yet. I'm so proud of you, Riker. You're going to become a real priest. Official. Then maybe we can find you real housing. Thanks, dang. Dang. That cake looks good. <laughs> uh, thank you, Leon. I almost called him dad. You know not to do that. <laughs> He's father and my my father. <laughs> I really want to know how that cake survived just running in the rain and all. Yeah, he had that stuffed in his, his coat. It didn't seem like pristine. It's a bag of holding. Let us eat. Gain 10 health points <laughs> from that cake. <laughs> you missed your ordination practice. I, I apologize, but we can make it up for you. Now since we already locate we're already located in a church, why don't we use the house of worship for your ordination? I'll be in the main lobby if you wish to join me there. Yeah, let's just do it here. Get her done. Books about ordination? No, okay. Uh, does that mean he's a bishop? He's like, let's just do it. See, does he have that much power? Or is he just saying, like, tomorrow, let's meet up and do that? Okay. Oh, hey. Huh! Riker, you scared me. Everything good? What are you doing? Oh, uh, just hiding in the face of this mirror. Carry on. It's weird that he calls it the face of the mirror, or maybe that's just the proper phrase for it. It's kind of spooky. Drawers that prove to be more difficult to open compared to the others. All you find is a mold and a rabbit foot. Weird. Can I peek the rabbit foot? Guess not. Oh, here's this weird door. Oh, I got a note about this, didn't I? Hold on. Uh, I have to check that note again. Uh, uh, do I still have the note on me? Yeah. Uh, 27, 24, 26. Seven, twenty-four, twenty-six. Ooh, it's like an art gallery. This paint, this easel's like empty though. They haven't painted that one. There's all these photographs. Oh, and a beetle. 
framed photo of Mother Mary. Someone spray painted the Mother Mary painting and gave her a warped, deformed face. The honor is an envelope. Oh, the the compliment. Eleven. Title draw Something on the back. Oh, that's encouraging. Run away, this is your last chance. 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 This is stupid. Some teenagers probably left this here on purpose. Scare people. Beetle. A beetle crawling on the wall. Look at all these paintings. These are cool. Someone was really talented. Oh, this one's kind of scary. Wow. Look at all these. And all these, like, Polaroids on the ground. What a cool room. Wow. No wonder they had arrows, like, go in there. See my cool works of art. So maybe somebody was using this abandoned church as, like, their art studio. Oh, uh, just you. <laughs> I was reading this book and I just got too invested in it. Tell me, Riker, do you understand anything in this book? Hmm. Glance over the text, reading a random passage. There's great, blah, 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 blah. There's great debate over our reality and the existence of multiple realities or dimensions that exist outside our reality. Oh, what is that? Uh, well. Parallel universe theory or whatever? Despite no concrete evidence, many still hold on to the strong belief that copies of our universe or reality exist. I mean, if it's an Uki... U U Utsi Koshi? However you pronounce his name? The 999 games? They definitely have multiple universes. Utsi Koshi? U I can't pronounce his last name. I'm very sorry. The creator of those, 999 and the AI games. Why are you reading this bogus? I'm assuming it didn't leave the same impression on you as it did for me. Eh, I just don't subscribe to the idea, I guess. Interesting. I wonder why a book on such topics would be in a church. Let's just continue on without getting distracted. Label me suspicious, but this church does not feel correct. Okay, he got the same vibe I did when I went through that hallway, if that makes sense. We've been in numerous abandoned places, but this is the first that's held a real surreal energy to it. But maybe I'm just shaken up from the storm, or they put something in that cake. Hello, sheep. I keep startling him. Oh, Leon, it's just you. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, 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 hey, 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 dude, 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 you're bleeding. Leon? <laughs> he does kind of have a Waluigi vibe. But Leon! Riker. Riker. We need to- we can exit through- Man, what happened? My vision is getting blurry. Riker, we have to get you out of here. Oh, 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 that's not good. What was that? Leon, you're- the, there's blood everywhere. Yeah, that's- yeah, that's not good. There's several gashes in his upper abdomen, just between the ribs. It's deep. And his skin was horrifically mutilated. Did he get stabbed? Leon winces, leaning his body weight on top of you. You hold his hands away from the cut momentarily, but you can't ignore the coldness in his fingers. His breathing is heavy. It looks painful for him to talk. Riker, we don't have much time. 
I won't waste my last breath on unimportant matters. Carefully drag him to a place he can rest easier. He's getting pale, but he'll be okay. We just need to get out of here. Leong, we can run away if... I cannot, not with these runes and my bad foot. Oh, he's a bad foot? Then we hide. As far as he knows, I am alone. Huh? He only wants me. He's been trying to find me for years now. Edgar, don't hold yourself responsible for this outcome. Nothing good will happen if you try to help me. All I ask is that you run away from here. The man that stabbed you, is he still here? Do you know this man? His hands are trembling. Leon, a strong, independent man, is struggling to talk. Riker, I trust you will take care of this for me. He winces as I grab something out of his coat. Blood from his fingertips smear on the cover of the book he's holding. Oh, that was the Bible. Is that what he was reading earlier? This book cannot be separated from you. This man will not know you have it. But still, be careful and keep it safe. It must never leave your hands. Understand me? Can you promise me such? Leon, your hands... What do you... Please, for your safety, hide in this confessional. And don't come out until I tell you. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> same. I have this gut-wrenching, awful feeling now. Okay, Leon. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Riker, you cannot read any of the contents inside the book. Oh, okay, so first you're giving me a book that I cannot be separated from, but I also cannot read it. Do not open it until I give the approval first. Avoid getting revenge on my behalf. Now, now I need to- oh, Dante! Oh, he looks friendly. At least he's masked up. God, he had a gun! Oh no! Please understand, I, I want to explain. Oh, he's saying, he's saying something we don't understand. Oh, ow! ow. Christ, Dante! Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's dragging him away! Well, ah, uh, that was a gunshot. You wait for some time. You don't know how much time has passed, but it feels like years. I don't hear anything else. What language were they speaking to each other just then? It's quiet. Leon hasn't returned yet. He said to wait here, but I, I want to check if he's okay. Um, um, what the fuck? Blood? Crazy as it sound, it looks like the mirror is bleeding itself. That's fine. The, there's just, you know, blood coming out of the mirror. It's totally fine. Oh! Leon! Oh my god! That's fucked up. My dude, what happened to your face? That's not a normal. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did he, like, pump a shotgun in your back of your head? This isn't right. The grotesque imagery catches you off guard, yeah? His face is missing entirely. It's all just red from blood and scrambled bits of flesh and muscle. Nothing resembles human anymore. 
His left eye is completely missing, while the other delicately hangs from a small string out of his face. Some teeth and bits of tongue can be found, but it makes your stomach turn. Cradling his corpse is evidence this is real and not a dream. You can't look away and you can't grasp that this is reality and that Leon is dead. The corpse is his, but you can't put his name to that body. It just doesn't look like him. Nah, it looks like a corpse flower. There was no way he was murdered like this. Oh god, oh my god! I can't even properly grieve. All the words I want to scream get trapped in my throat. You hide his face with a white cloth. You're shaking hands. Or, or your hands shaking the entire time you do. He was alive just moments ago, wasn't he? Where's the person who killed him? Where did they go? Why did they... The shooter could still be in here. I don't know what to do anymore. Leon sacrificed himself for my life and trusted me to guard this book of his. I need to get away from here. Ugh. His body is becoming stiff. The white cloth over his face is becoming stained. Ugh. Uh, oh, something's sparkling. Shrine with Mother Mary and two figures behind her. You can't name them properly as they have been defaced with graffiti. Mother Mary, please help me. I'm on borrowed time, and my friends, what am I supposed to do? I'm so hurt and confu- An envelope? Where did this come from? Rosso Cadere. Something something north, something something east. Uh, what does that mean? Red something? Just like the envelope, it's also red. You open the envelope, gifted with a red letter. In bold text, Rosso Cadere is red, along with some coordinates. Rosso Cadere. He had mentioned this place to me before. I, I think he studied at a basilica there long ago. No home here in France. I wonder if I'd find more information about him there in Rosso. I pocket the letter. He got Rosso Cadere right. This place might be the only chance I have to find the answers about this book he gave me. It's far, but that won't stop me. Despite his best wishes, I want to find out why this happened. I owe my thanks to you, Mary. I believe this is a sign you're giving me to advance forward. <laughs> he truly did not look back. Without looking back, you begin to run the moment the front doors are pushed open. You unknowingly run over two miles away from the church. You just, just, just not stop. You don't care where you go, as long as it's far away from the gruesome scene. Also, I mean police. The rain shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. The moon is hidden completely behind all the clouds. The tall forest trees gradually sh grow shorter and thinner. An opening in the forest reveals more light and a breath of cold air. There's a road, but no visible house lights are seen. This one-way road will eventually lead to a town or a neighborhood. At least that's what he's hoping. Sure, let's save. It's all good. Ooh. A phone is ringing. Oh. Who's this? Hello. It's over. The job is finished. I thank you for your help. By the way, did you happen to see anyone accompany Leon? Uh, no. He was alone when he bought the cake at the train station. Oh my god, they were following him that far back? Is someone else there? No, I checked all corners. Nothing but roaming sheep. It doesn't matter now anyways. Are you still in the area? Yes. You want me to scout it out? I'm down on the one-way road by Bouvant. I'm alone on the road and still blocking the entrance here. I'll be over there soon. From there we can discuss your rewards and funds. I'll call you later. So 
so whoever killed Leon had an accomplice, it sounds like. A road! I finally found a road! Uh-oh. You pause to breathe, but something in the distance catches your attention. I think I see someone! Uh-oh. A vague human figure. There's a glint of hope. Sir, please, help me. Ah, the, the irony. Sir, you have to help me. Ah! Please, my friend, I need help. Up on that hill, at the church that's there. My friend was just murdered. At the church that's past the trees. The church? Is this a, fr a face you should be trusting? But no one was supposed to be here? Is this the person that was with Leon? What am I supposed to do? A rock catches your foot and makes you trip. Oop! Uh-oh! Out goes the book. Are you alright, sir? This book? I'm fine. Oh... Oh, there's church music playing. I feel like I've seen that book before, but where have I seen it? Ah, uh, please don't touch it. Um. Ah. Uh, he picks it up, opening it to a random page. Um. You shadowed him, but it goes on deaf ears. A strange, indescribable noise suddenly surrounds you. It's so powerful that you can't hear the rain anymore. Oh, Jesus. A powerful gold light radiates from within the Bible. You begin to hear numerous voices singing, despite this road only being occupied by two souls. Uh-oh, he's hearing the voice of God. Fear and shock defeat you, trapping you in your current state. You feel warm and not entirely alone. You go to protect your eyes from the blinding light, but your hands feel significantly heavier. You look and by God, the blood that once stained your hands has now begun to shine and turn gold. Um. The gold liquid becomes heated, but easily removes it from your skin and clothes like worms crawling away. Uh, burn that book. Burn it. You return your attention to the man holding Leon's Bible. The man can't peel his eyes away, consumed by the contents inside. Suddenly, there's a loud cracking noise. Oh! Oh! His he-, he could not contain! He could not contain what was written in that book! I mean, we saw Leon read it, but this man, uh, he could not, he could not handle what was written on those pages. Oh, dear. <laughs> it, it did, it base boosted him to death. I love how he just casually just kind of turns around and walks off like, I did, I saw nothing. I saw nothing. I just killed a man with a book. Mm -mm, didn't I saw nothing. A year later, <laughs> a year later, I saw nothing. Nothing happened. My friend was, my close friend was murdered. I I blew up a man's head with a book. It's all good. Hello, good day to all viewers. From your favorite true crime podcast, Unsolved Rosso Files. It's been a year since a bizarre case has taken Bouvant, France by storm. We've had similar cases, haven't we, Mama Nama? It started many years ago with small cases, but the number has certainly risen over time. But now we're seeing the first one outside of Rosso Cadere. Strange, isn't it? For those who aren't aware, we're discussing the mystery of killer mirrors. Sounds about silly calling that, isn't it? It feels disrespectful, in a way. Anyways, 
Back to what you were saying about France. Oh, right. Nah, 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 nah. Received news by police officials on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. 10, 10 20 a.m. on a dead body discovered in an abandoned community church. Police asked for anyone to come and identify the body if they were able to. Police are asking the citizens once again to come forward with any hints if possible. Can't they just identify the body through dental records or fingerprint scans? I don't believe they can. The body was missing a face because they believe the victim was shot from behind the head. That's what I was thinking. Like, the only way your face could be that fucked up is if they just, like, took a shotgun or something and just close range, like, blasted from behind. And the exit wound disfigured the face. I mean, it's still, like, really bizarrely messed up, but... The victim's fingers were cut, and no fingerprints could be found or used. Interesting. Hmm, sounds scary. Do you know if the French police will work along with ours? Do, you, do they have any idea who the culprit might be, or if there is one? See, I'm not sure. Because all they ever find with these killer mirror cases is a blood trail that always ends at the bottom of a mirror. Almost like the mirror was dragging blood from the victim. Scary how there's no conclusions here. They can't even say if the person was murdered due to lack of evidence. I mean, you can't rule that as anything but a murder, okay? What, you're gonna give that suicide? <laughs> You can't rule that as suicide. Anyway, for our next segment. Ugh, shutting that podcast off. Nothing found sa uh, surrounding Leon's case. What did I expect for some low-budget true crime podcast? Attention all riders. We've arrived to our last destination. Please hold on as we come to a complete stop. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your time here in Rosso Cadere. Yeah, clearly, yeah, he ate a stick of dynamite. That's what happened. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Ooh. Look at this charming village. Excuse me. Oh, um, we're not interested in joining any religious organizations. Nim nim. Huh? Did they think I'm trying to sell them something? Well, you're- well, you probably have a cross around your neck, so... Excuse me, I'm looking for a church. A big church, actually. Oh, like a basilica? Yeah, a, a basilica. Forget about it. No one will give you directions for that old wretched place. I'd forget about it if I were you. We just suffered a bad hurricane, too. A lot of us avoid religious prayer talk after such an occurrence. We're all trying to repair our homes right now. No one has time to help others. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, 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 Luigi wants to sell you something. This guy looks like he's daydreaming. Look at this super dude. This building is in the center of Rosso Cadere. Sure is. Doggo. Blah, blah, blah. If you continue south, you'll find a clothing shop, oddity shop, motels, and our lighthouse. Well, at least he's friendly. But this guy's smoking. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not here promoting the anniversary of the Cursed Gem Bar. Please do visit us. You can only enter with a membership, though, so please do sign up for one before they run out. Okay, give me a membership. Hello, security guard. Row construction up ahead. You aren't allowed in. Sorry. Oh, damn. I like this guy. I like his hair. No one here is looking to be saved. It's disaster. It's distasteful to show up on our land dressed as a priest, wearing holy artifacts. I don't mean to offend anyone. Just trying to warn you. Okay, they do not like priests here. Yeah, like this statue's like missing a head. guy's painting. 
know if there's any maps or guides. 6 by 10 paintings are 10. 10 by 16 paintings are 20. Commissions are an extra $10. Huh? Uh, oh no, that's not what I want. Sorry. She's like selling something. What is this, a sick joke? A joke? Blah. Taurus like you should know better than to wear religious symbols here. Oh, he's got like a leaf blower. I can't understand him with that mask on. Um, more security guards and leaf blower guys. Was oh, this a sick joke? Okay. Move it! I want to talk to the smoking guy. I guess I might not be able to. I don't need to buy anything. Shouldn't go into a superstore. A Walmart. Another security guard. The police are authorized in the parking lot. Are you needed services or at the fire department? Or do you have a medical emergency? I'm good. No emergency. Okay. He's got a pupper. Who's this guy? You would happen to know where the Basilica is located. Why on earth would you ever want to go see it? I hear they're planning to demolish it anyways. Oh my god. Demolish it? Good grief. That's like a lot. Another car accident just happened this week. It's nothing new. Cautious of the roads. Anyone and everyone is getting a license. Yeesh. Okay. What a lovely safe place. Want to read any books from the library? You have to show a permit. You have to have a permit? To go to the library? Sheesh. Yeah, what a friendly place. I think I've talked to everyone except for these two very colorful characters here. Smoking. Oh my, they're clearly important. We get their own picture. While approaching the two men, you flip nervously through a translation book before speaking. <laughs> I don't want to fuck up in front of these two very colorful men. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Um. I'm looking for the cathedral, a uh, really a basilica by the name of Eclis de Sol. Basilica is the right word. You're a tourist, aren't you? Isn't it painfully obvious? Okay, I I know this feeling, right? Okay, I have been abroad. When you try and speak in a different language and you only know like. 20 words and your accent is terrible yes it's really obvious <laughs> when you're a tourist probably even just the way you dress gives it away Ooh, what about it okay this i i don't know which one is speaking but they do have different bbbs for each other i would avoid that church out of blah haven't you been warned about it? Heard about the scary blah 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 rumors surrounding it? Yeah, because one of them is deeper. I'm assuming the deeper BBBs is for the the taller gentlemen. Don't scare them. BBBs. 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 They're talking about me. BBBs. But if you wish to really visit it... Uh -huh. mm, it means good luck here, but it's taken from the German language. But if you really wish to visit it, okay. Ever since the events that took place there, everyone removed it from maps out of fear of the rumors surrounding the place. It's cursed. Cursed? Yes, everyone avoids that basilica at all costs. It's not safe to go there. They say that if you visit that church, within three weeks, you'll go missing. Police have given up solving cases that become older than four months. 
Good luck, priest. Ha 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 ha. Oh, well, they were very helpful. Oh, a rainbow rabbit. Okay. Sure. Follow the rainbow rabbit. Well, you know it's Europe because everyone's smoking. It's like I can't get up there. He's probably the security guard. It's just like straight up upside down crosses. That's normal. It's a motel of, with available rooms if you pass the clothing shop. Well, we probably don't need a motel right now. I'm gonna follow the rainbow rabbit. Nice little spooky beach. Broken train tracks. Oh, this is great. Strange stone pillar. The plaque under it can't be read. Hello. Uh, whatever the hell you are. Okay, that's sort of disturbing looking. I don't even know what to call them. Sheep. Deer. Deer sheep? Sheep deer? Not normal looking creatures. Well, this looks like a spooky church if I've ever seen one. The doors are slightly cracked open. Well, from one creepy church to another, I guess. Oh, that's a cool painting. What is that? Uh, what is that hanging from the ceiling? This music in here is peaceful. There's a cassette tape with a red mark on it. Oh, that's not scary and suspicious. Oh. oh okay. A list of numbers on it. 27, 24, 26. Hmm. Okay. I saw those numbers before. Oddly terrifying painting of an angel. All the surrounding paintings seem to depict angels. Angels are terribly scary. I've never truthfully prayed to one before. Yeah, I mean, biblical angels are pretty spooky. If I can get a better look at that one picture from up here. Yeah, look at that. It's so cool looking. She doesn't look that scary though. She just looks like a normal girl. Hang on, this is just like taped up. Yeah. There's a yellow caution tape at the entrance. You don't know where it leads, but something about this door makes the hair on your arms and neck stand. Yeah, I probably don't want to go through there. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of paintings in here. I wonder if there's any connection with that art gallery we found. There's that weird face again. An unfamiliar angel is painted next to the sailor. Hmm. Oh, mirrors. Hold on, hold on. Don't like this. Okay, we're in like a courtyard. Another Mother Mary. Big old courtyard. Some blue light up there. Try going over here. Ooh. It's a piece of paper wedged between some books. Sure. A picture that explains the symbols seen in this religion. Oh, okay. Normal cross, but upside down cross is more common. 
If you use this cross to mark a grave, use this at a person's 10th death anniversary. And an upside down triangle to signify they're at peace. Oh, I don't save it. Let me uh, write this down. Oh, you know it's a good, you know it's a good, uh, it's a good RPG horror game if they make you write stuff down. Cool. I want to look around a bit longer. Okay, that room's, I guess, important. Door that's not properly lined up. Can't even go in there. Oh, question mark. <laughs> that can hmm. I don't know about question we got we got a club or is that a spade? I think it's a club. Club door needs club key. We got a question mark door with like a little bit of light in the room. And a chair chair. <laughs> I didn't like that. Okay. So it's just the spooky room, eh? It's the purpose of this room just to have a scary thing run by. I guess that's it. What? What is this sound? Why is there a creepy goat sound? I don't like it. Do not like it. Got some buckets. Okay, here's this. Here's the spade. Ooh, something sparkling. Mail slot. The name here was scratched out. I found a key. Heart. Ah, heart key. And here's the diamond. And here's the heart. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> good. Medical bandages. I thought he was picking up the syringe. Good thing he was not. Decomposing rats. Excellent. Good. So this is, why would they have a medical ward in a basilica? Uh, no wonder there were rumors about this place. A box full of documents. The dead moths on it aren't strong enough to repel you from your curiosity. More medical records. These have chicken scratch handwriting. Well, of course, they're written by doctors, making it difficult to translate. Photographs of infants are attached to every document, every fat stack of documents. Some look to be a timeline of photos, as the baby's body will look worse in the later photos. Ugh. Before it assumedly gets worse, you put everything back. But by putting the documents no back, you notice a rusty key. Ooh, rusty key. Broken pill bottle. The bottle was written with a sharpie, but the handwriting can't be translated. Scissors. Oh, got more bandages. Class cabinet full of files. Subject is referred under fake names and strongly identifying details to appearances have been removed for probably safety. Patient is referred under the title of 0267. Wait a minute, didn't we get a note that was like 26 something? Hmm. For identity protection. I'm gonna I'm gonna start writing down these numbers. I feel like I'm gonna start writing this. So it's like 26, 24, 27, and now we have an 0267. I'm gonna start writing down numbers. Numbers are showing up a lot. Patient 0267, 19-year-old male. 
numerous health concerns, main surgeon was Dr. Francis. Something surgery was performed on patient 0267, or was reported. Patient was blank of his blank. Surgery date was confirmed blank blank blank. His right eye was replaced with a new one. Patient was awake and aware during the surgery? Oh. I guess because they needed to keep his eyelid open, maybe? The surgery reportedly went as planned. Patient was cleaned up, given some time to recover and breathe. Patient reported no pain or vision impairment. Approximately around three hours after surgery, patient reported the first instance of pain in the new eye. His first symptoms were violent coughing, extreme bloodshot eyes, and complaints of drastic drop in body temperature. Oh, I mean, I don't know what the time period is of this game, but I mean, maybe this would be with them discovering, um, what is it called? Like, when your body uh, rejects things from other other bodies if you don't give them that drug that like lowers your immune system to my knowledge more surgeries followed shortly after the first one two had to remove and replace the failed new eye surgery patient consented to every surgery on the condition that Dr. Francis was the primary surgeon. Dr. Francis began to suspect something was wrong with the patient internally. The patient was conscious during this. The next surgery was blank. The patient was conscious for a brief moment, but was heavily sedated exactly 12 minutes into the procedure. The cause for a sudden surgery was when patient was Puking black sludge-like substances. Okay. His eyes rolled in the back of his head and his fingertips were becoming purple. Surgeons, blank, helping in the blank, were horrified and tried to stop Dr. Francis when he cut open the patient's abdomen in the exam room, not the operation room. Everyone in that room watched as the cut was boof to show that the patient's small and large intestines were moving like worms. The patient never woke up post-procedure. Dr. Francis ordered to put the patient on life support. Dr. Francis claimed that this was normal for the procedure. He called it limb something or limb something, i.e taking an organ or limb from one something and something it with the same organ and or limb with a second something. So they were Frankensteining him, effectively? Christ, this can't be real, right? It's another journal. Well, let's learn more about bad science. Patient 0267 was unconscious for several days. Father Francis, his surgeon was... Oh, okay, it gets deeper. So not only was his, his surgeon... His surgeon was a, a man of faith. His surgeon bleh, refused to leave. Bleh, probably his side. Patient 0267's ears and eyes would bleed periodically. His organs did not move like they did probably before. A full week passes until 0267 awakes at 8.11 p.m. Mm. Screaming. His eyes were that of a dead cold winter's night. He was blind. 0267 had to be restrained by doctors so Dr. Francis could... Something happening. Once sedated, 0267 told Dr. Francis to quote, I saw ghosts. Tall, scary ghosts who don't blink. They whisper about my future. They told me how I'm going to die. Unquote. Mm -hmm. The rest of the text is faded. So he saw angels because he got screwed up by science? I don't know what that's about. I wonder how that's going to tie into everything. 
There's a heavily damaged piece of paper here. Red marks the spot. Okay. Guess I should note that as well. Red marks the spot. Okay. Oh, we got a creepy bed. Oh! Found a key. Diamond key! Okay. Well, it truly isn't a horror game if someone isn't getting their ass experimented on, right? Oh, what's going on in here? What's this, like, pretty light? It's like a painting? The desk is organized in the most chaotic way. Papers are stuffed in the drawers with some spilling out. Some journals and pocket-sized books. Ooh, yeah, boy! We make progress. There's a neat envelope with a gold-orange seal. Ah, upside-down cross again. Red envelope. This looks to be written in German. Huh. Okay. So we got a piece of paper in a German written letter. There's this weird symbol person thing again. Can we go in here? No? Okay. So we got a uh, what shaped key again? A club key. The club key. Okay, that's if I when I'm done finding everything. Still can't get in there. <laughs> Mystery room. Ugh. Mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. Don't like this. Bottom of the barrel and a gold key. Spade key. This is where we keep our broken mirrors. Mm hmm. I eat. Don't like that shit. Okay, so what? I what is up with this room? What is up with this? I just don't get it. It's spooky. I don't like it. What's with the room that's like off center and I can't go in? Oh no. Ah! It's one of these. Oh no. Oh god, there's like a goat head above it. I uh, mm. check the basement. Ram horn. Uh no. Ah, I'm s oh, I'm screwed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. <laughs> More beasts. <laughs> Oops. Well, good thing I saved. <laughs> well. More geese. I don't have confidence in myself. Ooh, what if I go up this way? Yeah! That's using my brain! Ha 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 ha! I figured you out, puzzle. Okay, it said check the basement. I don't know what that means. But... I assume. Oh, also, what did I get from that? Ram horn. What the heck? Okay. 
so these two things could probably be interpreted as a basement. I have something called a rusty key. Maybe that unlocks something that is considered a basement? Oh, this door isn't opening again. Okay. Or maybe now that I'm done looking all at all of them, this will be considered a basement? Oh, it's the rainbow rabbit again. Where are you going? Hello. It disappeared. Oh, maybe this is what the rusty key goes to. Mm. Oh, maybe this is what they wanted me to- Ah! I broke a document. Shop crack under your foot. Looking closer at it, it says the Basilica was built over 210 years ago. There's another nutmer! 210. I'm just right anytime I see a number now, I'm just gonna write it down. Numbers I feel like are so significant. Paper maps. Just how big is this place? Basilicas are huge. There's two separate history guides. One is labeled with the name of the basilica. Looks intense. The second guide reveals a much grander scale of hallways and dead ends. It's labeled under strange word unfamiliar to you. A small note slips out of the map. It reads as such. The basilica was created before the catacombs were. Hmm. Catacombs were never part of the original design. Many priests, nuns, and other holy associates have asked to be buried and kept under the church that gave them purpose in life. The rest have faded away. Is this a grave site under the basilica? That's not weird at all. Totally normal. Let's just ignore the flesh and maggots, I guess. A crate stocked full of rosaries. This must be a gift shop of sorts, and there's prices listed on the back of each. Hmm. To take something in the house of God. But it's just gonna rot here if I don't take it. Is it stealing then? Got the gift shop rosary. Nice. Yeah, they did say they wanted to demolish this place. There's more stuff at the top of these stairs. The stairs don't look stable. I'll be quick. Blech. Ow. Help. Do I have a concussion? Someone with one be able to ask that. Ow. Oh, it's dark. Maybe I was out for a while. I should make sure I can walk all right before I go further into a rabbit hole. I wonder how late it is. It's almost 5 p.m. I should finish what I can looking around this area. Maybe just come back tomorrow. Ah! There's light coming from the window. I was just there, right? As someone had to run the envelope. Is that light always on? Wouldn't that light bulb burn out if it was kept on since this place was abandoned? I guess I should check it out. Not sketchy at all. I think it was... Is it this room? Yes. Hello? Anyone here? The lights are out again. Was I just seeing things? Someone's here? Was it some... Urban explorers? Oh, wait a minute. Are those my cigarettes? Oh. They are. Here's the French mornings. Ah, oh, there's a hole in my bag. They must have fallen out. I should repair it soon. You reach for the cigarettes when something under the bed catches your eye. Uh, sure. Getting on your knees, reach under the bed. Oh, no, gross. Roaches crawl out from under the bed. You wait for them to leave and look again. There's a music box with a dark blue key taped on the lid. The music box looks old and has lost a leg. Curiously, you open it. 
There's a mirror inside the lid. Some small rocks were put inside the tiny box. The music is soothing, gentle enough to ease your mind. Hmm. We all love music boxes. A blue key. Hmm. There's a mirror inside the music box. Can we, like, look at the item? It plays a nice little tune. Oh, okay. Mysterious. Uh. Uh. Can we not- Oh, I was like, how do we get out of the room? There we go. And a blue key. Well, we must find a blue door, I suppose. Maybe we can go back out into that area? Is there a blue door out here? Nope, not in there. Um, oh, there's like, there's straight up an invisible wall there. Okay. <laughs> Can't go back in there. What about here? Nope. What about here? Nope. What about up here? Nope. Tree in the way. Tree in the way. Um, back here? I don't know if there are any doors that were locked here, but... It's not running. This is running. I don't think there are any other locked rooms, but... There's only that mystery door. Maybe I should just leave. It, it, it's like nighttime now, so... Eh, eh, eh. Maybe I should go to sleep. He did say, like, come back another day. So, I can get up here? Ah! The tree was not actually in my way. Ha ha. I was but a fool! A showcase of sorts. A bunch of valuables that have only collected dust and unflattery colors. These might have been beautiful at some point, but now they run away along with the building. Here, no one stole these yet. Maybe locals really do believe this place is haunted or cursed. What's down here? Is that like a bird cage? That's a bird cage. What is this? It's like really fancy stuff over here. Fancy. It looks like more police tape. Is that police tape? It was for the first level first. Okay. It's probably he's probably gonna say the same thing over here. Ooh. Wash your hands. Or dip your hands, rather. Don't just dunk it in there. Oh, that looks like a blue door. Hold up. Hold up. And an eyeball door. Yes, and a skeleton. Good. Well, I can't go into the black void, but that's okay. Cool stained glass. There's another broken mirror. Really creepy painting. Can I go through here? Nope. 
Really creepy painting. Are those like freshly born animals? Those like th those are like freshly born animals. What the fuck? Yeah, he's probably got like little heels on the shoes. You know, like those nice kind of men's shoes that have like the tiny little square heel on them. Oh, they were in those. Well, I guess there really is nothing else to check out but that blue door. Very, very blue. Extremely blue. It's even got an odd shape to it, man. Oh, okay. Well, what the heck is going on in here? What is with all these flowers? Yellow flowers hang like a curtain here. You can't name what kind of flower they are. I can't name it either, but... Okay, there's just broken... What is with all the broken mirrors, man? Stop it. Uh, someone's gonna get cut at this point. Got some candles, got some boxes. There's like a... Is this a coffin? Yeah! There is no dust on the lid. You feel intrigued to look inside. Okay, bruh. Sure, why not? Although there's a quick tab of it? Hold up, there's a quick tab of it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You give a mighty push on the lid. Oh, nobody heard that. <laughs> No way, no way these are real. What's inside is almost a shining beacon of hope. Neat, thick stacks of money fill up the coffin. No one would just forget something like this, right? I can't justify taking anything from this room. But I want to. Best to leave this alone. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, somebody just, that screams like, you know, like gangsters or something. Various books collect dust. You purposefully avoid touching them because there's a few dead bugs on them. Also, I love the freaking exit sign. Like, what the heck? Looking closely, you notice the wallpaper here looks off. Like it's hiding something under its skin. Something sharp can cut into the wallpaper. Sharp? This horn? Okay. Oh no. The, ha the horn broke. Okay. Cool. Where does the staircase go? Oh, this is no- this is no good. This is no good. This is a super big no good. Um, can I not look at this spooky pair of eyes painting? Can you say nothing about this, Riker? Okay. The door locked behind me. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Go into the darkness? No. Uh, I feel like we're going into one of those weird spaces again. That defies reality. What is this sparkling? Oh, okay. Oddly photorealistic. This is weird. It's got A11 all over it. There's a file here with French writing. The title says the unexplained surrounding. The rest is covered with duct tape. You open to the first page that is heavy on text. Quickly glancing over some paragraphs, you notice a familiar trend in words. The numbers 8 and 11. They're scribbled all over the pages, making some of the text difficult to read. The two numbers just repeat and repeat and repeat. Lists of tragedies and supernatural occurrences that happened at 8, 11 a.m. or p.m. cover an entire page. Okay. 
Also, there's a picture showing of someone's leg being cut. Does that have any connection to that char that character we read about? The the subject, what was it? O two six seven. Flipping to the next several pages doesn't help. Everything just gets uglier. Soon you begin to flip to pictures of corpses. Nothing is censored. Cracked open heads, punctures organs, mutilated corpses, drowned, bloated remains are shown. Every caption under these images reads that these people died at 8-11. Flipping through more pages doesn't help. Disturbingly, there's only more similar ones. Suddenly, there's a page that stops you. Oh. Oh, stop! It's a clock. The glass from the window lies shattered around it. Let me guess. Picking it up and investigating, you notice something odd about the placement of the hands on the clock. Oh! It's 810. It has to be old. Dead batteries. It, it can't be that late right now. Looking over at your wristwatch. Hands on it. Speed up. It's impossible, but it really is happening without your control. The hands speed up and the time reads 8.10. What the hell? Sounds like a radio? You look back at the clock. Ugh. The numbers begin to melt. The hands turn to liquid and melt, and the object begins to seep through your hands. The watch on your wrist creates the same effect, melting away and becoming sludge on the floor. My watch is melting? Is this, what is this a Dali painting? My clock and my watch say the time is 8.11, but th that's impossible. It's not supposed to be 8 at night. The sun was still setting. Oh, the lights. I think I remember seeing candles on the table. I, I could try to use those for a light source. Candles are still here. Ah oh, ha ha ha! Hello? Hey? Who are you? Hey, wait, who are you? Church bells? What the hell is happening? Where did that come from? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Who's that lady? What's going on? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Spooky eyes. Oh. Yeah. I'm out. This is what happened back there. My ears still hurt from all those loud noises I heard. Wait a minute. The door. The door that was here is gone. And yeah, now everything is on the other side. Not only that, this room looks completely different from what I remember. In my watch, it's it's back to normal, but the time is currently 545. Where did that person go? I, I swear I saw someone. Okay. Sure. Looking closer, you notice the wall of flowers looks off. Something sharp can cut into the wallpaper behind the flowers. Wait, my ram horn is back? I thought it broke. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. It refuses to open. None of my keys work. Can this open again? Can I open this again? It's not letting me. Hmm. Well, let's use the magically regenerating ram horn. Oh, this is good. Let's just go through this spooky back area. It's all good. There's a hole in the wall. Sure. You duck your head and enter the crawl space. Oh, okay. Looks 
whole bunch of dolls. Can I save it, one of them? It's a large collection of Virgin Mary clay dolls. Many different color, size, detail, but they all look carefully handmade. Weird. Here, these are stored in this room, only located in what seems to be inside the walls of the basilica. Um, wait, ahead, these look like windows or doors? Maybe I only accidentally discovered a new entrance to the room. No, I mean, like, somebody clearly may has this crawl space, and they come here and they put these dolls here. It's creepy, but maybe someone does this. You study the windows. They look a bit dusty, but the other room must have the lights off, so it's difficult to see anything on that side. Glance over back at the Virgin Mary dolls. Uh oh, you're you're doomed. You're damned to hell. <laughs> Curiously picking one up, it crumbles in your palms. Oh, that's not good. You attempt to put the doll back, but the clay figure just breaks even more so. Hmm. It's clay, so... Hi! There's a man behind the doors. Oh, he's smiling at me! No! Oh, hi. You got a crazy haircut. I heard something break. Hi. What did you break? Uh... What the hell who's that? Oh, he's gone now. Oh no. That means he's been here this whole time. I don't like that. I don't like that. He's been here this whole time. That's not cool. We thought this place was abandoned. Nope. Who was that? I almost mistook that guy for a ghost. Oh, he's... Just now, I heard someone walking outside this room. Is someone right behind that door? You attempt to open the door, but it's locked. Oh no, he locked us inside! Not locked, but... It feels like someone is on the other side of the door holding it shut. Oh, that's even worse! He's holding the door shut! Oh no! Mmm. Okay, what's the best way with... Uh, no, you let go of the door and then they go flying, right? Carefully, with the slightest hesitation, you let go of the doorknob. The door slightly cracks open. Oh! Oh no! Suddenly, a hand emerges from the depths and grabs you. Within a second, you're pulled out of the room and thrown on the floor. Well, that's not what my plan was. Your eyes open and you see a tall man towering over you. He must have been the one to grab you. Ah! Oh, he's pissed. The basilica was so dark before, but now it's painfully bright. Does it look like he has ribs painted on his uniform? It kind of looks like that. That's spooky. I like his haircut, aside from his funny little, uh, things jutting out in the back. <laughs> He's a bit handsome, albeit scary. Huh? Sorry, I don't understand. More screaming in a language you don't understand. His accent is making it difficult to understand him. Sorry, could you repeat that? I, I, I don't speak good- Ugh! Just who in the hell do you think you are? Trespassers like you used to be hung on the highest branch here. Oh, that's nice. A priest? You're a priest! <laughs> we're, we're buddies, right? Ha ha ha! Wait, are there still any priests even in this town? What? What are you doing here? Your eyes focus on the item in his left hand. It's the Mary Clay doll you broke moments ago. Uh, the Mary doll? Sir, uh, that was truthfully my wrongdoing. I, I apologize for breaking it. <coughs> Reset. So you were the one that broke this. 
cookies are difficult to make, you know. And you're just breaking them. I'm sorry. I, I broke the clay doll by accident. It it's very dark in here. Wait, you did you say you make them? Yes. It's beautifully made. I, I think we can fix it if maybe I don't care anymore. It's beyond repair. I didn't do it on purpose. I, I don't mean any disrespect to this place. But you, you're a priest. I, I haven't seen a priest or a nun since I got here. What about it? You're a religious man too? A son of God? Uh, that I am. And you're a follower of Eloheim? Y yeah I, I have been. Ha! Then you know he would be looking at you with disappointment, right? It's unwise to trespass into places you shouldn't be in. This may be a house of God, but we don't welcome just any broken person in here and offer a service to them. Isn't, isn't that what you're supposed to do? As a holy man? This place is closed, and I don't know how to make that any more obvious to trouble-seeking, unwelcome, annoying cockroaches. Most shark attacks occur about ten feet from the beach because that's where the people are. We have signs everywhere. Are you mm, blind? Is that a swear word used here? I, I still have questions for him, though. There's no warnings of this place. Churches should- Yeah, that's what I was thinking! How do I translate this? I heard that this place took in spiritual leaders and worshippers if they needed a place to stay. Is that wrong? Shouldn't all homes of gods- Or god, uh, welcome anyone? We did, in the past. But it got overcrowded. We easily ran out of room to house everyone. Do you want to know what happened next? Do you want to know what happens when you promote a free living quarter to the rightfully ordained and those who aren't? Oh, does he know that we're not legit? <laughs> uh, speak slower. We're stuffed into cages like rabbits. Chairmen saw it as more humane to have us stuffed into rooms with no furniture than to turn someone away. Uh, luckily, I was given a higher status and given my own room. But it didn't help, did it? <laughs> Not really. Something, something. <sighs> this guy is weird. I think he's mumbling to himself. Do you have any records of who stayed here? They called us... Ugh. Imagine being assigned a room of 300 square feet with no furniture and sharing it with 20 men. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbits. That's what they called us. I once saw a rabbit claw out the entrails of another. Uh. This guy is fucking weird. So, there's no way of knowing who stayed here? No record of it? Ha! No. They don't exist, and why would you care? I, I was just hoping to find information about someone who I think stayed here is all. And? What kind of excuse is that? You're trespassing to find someone? They're not here. Just leave, damn it. You don't even live here. So... Let me get this straight. This place is abandoned, but you still stay here and you're still yelling at people for being like on your quote unquote property. Hmm. I mean, I guess he used to live here and like, like it was actually his home, but it seems kind of funny. It seems like a hobo ye yelling at someone for trying to stay on their side of the street and being like, <laughs> You don't- you, you get off my property! <laughs> I guess I can kind of get the logic, but it's still very flawed. Because I know uh, priests do get like their own home and like area of living. 
it's usually near or attached to the church. But like, yeah, what happens when the church shuts down? It's technically really not their place to live anymore. Or is it that your friend came here and is now one of the missing? Uh, I'm not sure if I want to tell this stranger the trauma behind my reasoning. My, came, my friend came here several years back. Only just last year he went uh, missing. I don't believe the rumors about this place. I just want to find my friend or information about him. Don't believe in them. Don't believe the bodies buried under us won't haunt you. There's more people buried here than at the local cemetery. No tour guide will tell you that though. These aren't just conspiracies I'm talking about, Father. I've been here since this place opened. The amount of dust and candle wax and bloody fingernails I've had to clean. Ugh. How many people have died here to justify such burial situations? A lot? To have catacombs? Are you a father or a journalist? Uh, so if this place has history with death and bad luck, why are you here? Wouldn't you not be scared? Is it rude to ask if you live here? I want to preserve the history here. I've been saving money to one day clean this place up and bring it back into working order. Come to think of it, the money from that coffin. Ah, that makes sense. Does anyone else live here besides you? Piss off. Why aren't you off my property yet? Please, I, I think you can help me. Are there any records of names or lists of people who stayed here? What's it to you, hmm? I already told you. Records of any kind were destroyed. There's no reason for you to stay, so you should be on your way. Huh? You took a rosary from here? So you're just a probably thief? Huh? dare steal under the eyes of probably God? You trespass into our God's house and mock him by stealing his goods. I've discovered corpses with skin pulled so tight that every muscle and bone was exposed. I've had to deal with bodies of lost tourists like you in the past. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you know what Rosso used to do with thieves in the past? Any idea? Uh, sanctuary. I, I claim sanctuary. It was wrong of me, but I can put it back. I don't want it now. I'm sure that when the curse catches up to you, the necklace will be returned to the rightful spot. More like I will be tearing it off your body. I'll put it back. If I were you, I would enjoy the next three weeks while you can walls don't give a damn about your sanctuary the last man who didn't believe me was discovered by police hanging in a confessional C confessional eh, wait sir uh, I still had a question to ask the one priest I find and he's crazy I don't see a point in chasing after him I spent so much money trying to get here I won't just let him scare me away tomorrow the sun setting. I need to focus on getting a place to stay for my time here in Rosso. Mm, did he just drop something? You wander back to town, looking for some place to stay. Oh, now it's now it's proper, proper, <laughs> proper night times. Ooh, it's dark. Oh, it's like a little park. Look at this. It'd be so charming if it wasn't playing really sad music and it was so dark. A motel. I could try to stay here. I'll have to see what their rights are. That much for every night? I don't know if I... Uh, this is the only motel with vacancy? Okay, I'll just take whatever room is it ready. Sucks. I only have five nights here. If anything, I could set up as a shelter in a park or forest around here. 
Well, I was about to say, there's a, there's a little park over there, but I guess we are staying at the, uh, the hotel. Or the motel, rather. Uh, which one's my room? Oh, B2. Tiny room, but I don't mind the spacing. We even got a spooky CRT TV with the thing, the error screen on it. Lovely. TV was left on. Turn off TV. I'm so stressed. I can really use a cigarette right now. I should make sure they're still in my bag. Fix that hole I found while I'm at it. Huh? Please don't tell me. Oh fuck! No 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 no! I, oh I I did see that correctly. He did drop that. I lost Sam's Bible. It's nowhere in my bag. Where did I lose it? Oh, you fucking idiot. You can't be trusted. Where could I have left it? I should get it before it's too late. First of all, is this a cassette tape player? You can listen to any audio tapes. Well, I did find one. You know, quick poop. That at least makes me feel better. Well, first, first, if they let me listen to it, I did find an audio tape, I think. Yeah, I did find this. Yeah, why not? Hold the space bar to speed up the text. All right, time to, time to get some water. A scratchy voice from the audio tape. Some of the audio seems to glitch. Hello. Hello. After my departure from your understanding of the living world, I've entrusted that m to b probably the Bible to Leon? You knew blank, and while I am now departed, I am giving you a gift. Whether you believe in God truthfully or not is irrelevant, as you have no choice. Ah. Interesting. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Weird. Here, let me give you a coffee pot. Ooh, a journal. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be nice if I ever forget what's going on. But first, we gotta get our boot back. And freaking get some, get a patch and patch up your bag, boy. Jeez. Take that funny little belt that you're wearing, or maybe it's part of your shirt, I don't know, and, and patch it up. I mean, clearly it's important to him. I think they mentioned that Leon gave the bag to him, but... Clearly this has become a problem. Okay, if I recall correctly, we saw it literally drop right outside Crazy Man's door. was I don't see that guy around here I can hopefully get inside without him noticing hopefully he hasn't found Leon's Bible and kept it damn he must have locked it maybe if I walk around to find another entrance oh wait I remember reading when the place was built numerous hidden routes were created there has to be a secret entrance I can get access to uh oh I don't like the sound of that Like the sound of that. Let me guess, we gotta go through the freaking police tape.
The guide says you can access the main areas of the Basilica from underground. Through the catacombs. It's writing on this entrance, but it doesn't make sense to me. Regardless of how I feel, I, I need to get Leon's Bible back. Oh my goodness. Walking past the yellow caution tapes, you remember reading the history pamphlet from the gift shop. The underground network of the tunnels were never part of the original design. Yeah, they, they, kind of what the other guy was mentioning. Like, nah, just people were just dying left and right. And they just were like, shoot, uh, we need to make some space for all these bodies. Oh my, look at this. Many brave volunteers throughout town explored the complex tunnels. Like a calling from God, many flocked and offered services and tools for the church. Shortly after the catacombs were renovated, well-preserved bodies of holy officials were sealed and hidden within the walls and floorboards. May priests and nuns and other holy associates have asked to be buried and kept under the church that gave them life. So they're literally a part of the church. The maze-like design, many people get lost in the basilica. Different causes are suspect from starvation, suicide, foul play, or even the angel of death. Newly discovered bodies are now fed to cattle. Okay, that might explain the weird looking things outside. The catacombs are reserved for elite holy associates and burial purposes. The cemetery is full. The catacombs are reserved. Please keep watch of your special loved ones. The church holds no liability for those who end up missing or dead. Okay. Oh, oh, there's blood on this wall. Got lots of people scratched on it. Let's see. There's a group of people holding babies. And a dancing deer above them. Whoa. Whoa! There's like a skull. Okay. Oh, here's that skeleton painting again. Graffiti art. Similar to the halo saying the unholy ones can't be saved. Unbaptized souls don't get noticed. Unnoticed. Mmm. Oh, there's like a gate. Okay. I gotta find some stuff. Oh, hey. Oh, I can't save on this, Mary. She's cracked. Oh, gross. of tools. A mallet? Take the mallet? Sure. Why not? Ah! Oh no. Okay, so it's one of those. I need to like put something over it so I don't fall in and freaking die. Okay. I see, I see. It's a trap. Okay. Oh, oh, there's something up here. Spoiled rotten tomatoes and grapes. Is there anything else up here though? Besides these spoiled things? Hmm, that feels like a secret. Ooh, there's like a crack in the wall. I wonder if I can do something with that mallet. Ooh, a bottle? Some... Some coffins, a book. Okay. Okay! Skin stripped from its owner. 
It's tightly stretched to every corner in the makeshift frame. You don't know what the symbol hanging above could mean. Gross. Okay. That's totally normal. Ooh, what's this? Is this anything? No. Oh, actual Mother Mary? Yeah. Ooh, another door. Hmm. If I can find a key of some kind. Ooh, that's where you use the mallet. Okay. Okay, there's definitely, yeah, something up here. Strange window like frame. Um, what the fuck? Ah! It's just some drawing. Ah! That's totally not just a drawing. That's totally not just a drawing. Something broke. Was it this glass bottle? Oh, that's no good. That's no good. Something broke. Of this <gasps> yeah bronze key oh 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 there was um there's a door where was it where was it where was it is this key whoa what the heck what the heck ah! oh it's just a bug oh gross Child-sized dresser. There's a strange ooze leaking out of it. Empty crib. What is this doing in here? Oh wait, ah! I'm stuck! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The, the hitbox of the- Oh no! Oh no! The hitbox! It stuck me! Oh no! <laughs> Bug detected! Yeah. Well, good thing I just saved. Damn hitbox. Okay, so what did I do? I... I saw the creepy child. And then I went to the grapes. <laughs> I don't like that laugh. Thank you. Okay. And I got the key. And then I will hopefully maybe not step on the cockroach. Knowing it is actually my mortal enemy. Oh, 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 I didn't even get to see this. The brown on it? What the heck? What's up here? Oh. Plastic. The grass is fake as well. What in the heck? It's like... Game area? Walls are painted blue with childish drawings. Painting of some random valley. The crystal blue lake. Okay. Weird. So this is like a children's area. Oh, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. I don't think there's anything in here, right? Yeah, just the ooze. Okay. What's going on in here? Oh, something sparkling. A wedding ring. By a, a well. Scratch mark. I think it says a name, but you can't make it out. Wedding ring. I wonder if- <gasps> What the heck? Thank you for finding that. I will leave this item for you in this room, as thanks. Don't let it fall into the wrong hands. Oh. Okay. 
some little creature was thankful that we found it. And they left something. Shovel. Huh. Interesting. Got a shovel. Oh, another one of these. Journal. It's a photo wedged in between the pages. Oh, okay. So you stare at the image longer, you see some white pen whites white pen I can I can read. Scribbles. What is the church hiding? What does it gain when it feasts from our own? We've made progress on renovating the catacombs. However, I cannot hide my disgust at the holy officials anymore. They've hidden the truth from innocent eyes. Those of us who know the real events have been kept in locked closets, starved, and beaten if we want to threaten to reveal anything. Shortly after the catacombs were first discovered, so too were well-preserved bodies of holy officials found within the walls and floorboards of the basilica. None of us can make out how long these tunnels and rooms have been here for, or how they came to be. The Basilica truly did create these for us, but I am scared of them. Tr create these for us? Mm? More than 50 bodies were discovered inside the walls of the main Basilica. However, in the process of finding these bodies, many innocent men died from suffocation in tight spaces, spaces or disappeared. Our first few groups of men either died, vanished, or were brought back lame. Scared to lose more of our own, the church asked for volunteers in the town. They promised rewards, they promised safety, and now those men's children are fatherless and the wives are weeping. Why are you doing this? Why are you sending in so many people to find these bodies when you know it's going to be a bad idea? As you stare at the image longer, you see the scribbles. The catacombs project has been put on hold. We are no longer trying to build safe passage ways. Passage, passage ways. Pass blah, 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 passage ways. Men are returning with decaying skin that touches bone. You flip to another page. Dear journal, this might be my last entry. I will protect you with all I can, but it's becoming a challenge. Holy officials have discovered some of us have recorded events and unholy practices. They're seeking out any book material that goes against their word and disposing of them in the catacombs. If we were found out, not only would you be punished, but so will I on account of something. Mm. Well, that sucks. Oh. Checkers. Your plushie, some like cool paintings. Priest uniform. For like a, a split second when I first saw it, I felt like very uncomfortable because I thought it was a very big person with like no legs, but it's just a uniform on like a, a mannequin. <laughs> Oh! No, thank you. Is it still coming after me? I don't like that. It's still moving. It's still moving. It's still moving. It's still moving. I don't like this. I don't like this. Sure. It's still moving in the background as I read this. It's for some time before I joined the church. Ghostly rumors plague this basilica. Doesn't seem to leave outside the groups that live here, safe to say the least. I call them rumors. However, last night I experienced the ghost stories firsthand. Can you keep it down over there? I was roaming the history hall around 2 a.m. I've done this plenty of times. 
but this was the first night I had such experiences. I swear to you, God, that I was under no influence of wine. <laughs> was I under the influence of another, perhaps, like an angel? I cannot quite answer that myself. I was passing by the staircase when I heard a low, mumbling voice. I called out to the voice, yet there was no body of origin. It kept calling out my name. I followed the voice, despite the fear that coursed through me, telling me otherwise. But it led me right to a wall. I hesitated for a moment, doubting what I heard earlier. It suddenly mysteriously stopped. To confirm my senses, I called out to the voice, and even knocked on the wood paneling. All I had on me was a low-lit candle. But there was no reply. I swear I heard the voice call my name. It was ghastly, twisted, and so welcoming and gentle. I've never heard something so striking before. Sure. Some mornings ago, a group of nuns discovered a hole in the wall. They reported hearing the same voices I had, but when they tried knocking on the wall, they suddenly heard screaming. Oh, good. Ever in the history hall at that time, which was from what I can gather about ten men, took tools to the wall and dismantled it. They revealed a secret hole in the wall. Behind our very walls was a tunnel that dug down deep like a maze. One by one, the holy officials sent our own men in. Hello! Only some men came back. The others disappeared forever. So is this them discovering the catacombs? Hmm. Many claim this to be a reference to something religious. I claim blasphemy. No god has emerged from the tunnels. Only Bluth that disguise themselves as good and eat our men. So yeah, this is them discovering it, because that's the monsters. I was in the third group, labeled a search and rescue party for the first group. The second group came back, and none returned with vocal cords. It was terrifying to reverse these tunnels. The air was cold and slimy, sticking to our faces. So it sounds like the, bus the this spooky evil tunnel existed first. And then the basilica was, like, built on it? Oh, that's fair. <laughs> the tunnels reminded me of ant colonies, winding paths, and dead ends. Basilica created the catacombs for us. That explains the rumbling noises and shaking from- Okay, so no, I'm getting it backwards. Basilica was built, and then this inexplicable- T tunnel was like cr just uh, was made Ugh. and then they started burying people in it okay she created this for us and why the church tries to hide that fact is beyond me so it was like an act of god okay by the way this is 811 um this is an rpg maker horror title um just to get you up to speed uh, our protagonist is Riker. He is a French priest who is trying to find why his friend Leon was murdered. He is currently in Italy, question mark. Uh, trying to figure out if this spooky basilica has anything to do with his friend's murder. And I would need to figure out- Oh, stop it! Why are you moving? Are you gonna go somewhere specific or are you just following me? Stop that. Yes, this game is is very, very good. So the interesting thing about this game is I played about a year ago, I played this game and this is technically the second iteration of the game. Apparently the creator added a bunch of new art added new characters to it, so I will vaguely remember some plot points of it, but I'm definitely not going to remember everything. Especially not this thing! Anyways, we're in some creepy catacombs right now. We're, we're, um... Oh, oh, sorry. One other big plot point. Um, so Leon died. 
he was murdered by someone we don't know. And he gave us this Bible. And apparently this Bible is very important. And we dropped it. <laughs> so we're trying to get it back. That's why we are in spooky catacombs right now. But um, this book is very, very important. It is a very important Bible. It is not an ordinary Bible. Um, apparently if you read said Bible, um, bad things happen. Uh... Because, um, we saw one person read it and his head exploded. Um... So... yeah. Y you're not supposed to read it. And he also told us personally, do not read it. So... Something weird is going on with this book. I'm looking for some planks of wood right now. That is what I'm trying to do. Go back down to the left. Wait, what? Oh. I'm lost. I need to go to the left. Oh, here's wood. Aha. I mean, it's not every day that you find a Bible that just makes people's heads explode when you read it. <sighs> Maybe I should put some support here. Plank of wood. Alright. Got a mallet. And hopefully we don't get killed by a creature. Maybe, maybe not. I hope we don't. I don't want to be killed by a creature. No creature. I think we're good. No creature. Yay, no creature. All right. The door's lock is heavily damaged. It might just be possible to break it with a mallet. Press the enter or space bar rapidly. I hear something. Oh God. Ah! Oh, I think we're safe. Enter a strange narrow tunnel. There's no wind flow, but it's cold down here. Seeing far is impossible. Easily both sides of the walls can be touched if your arms are stretched outwards. Oh, that's great. That's good. The ground feels uneven. There's a sound of water dripping. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Left. Okay. Turning left, you walk for some time until you happen upon a sequence of artwork with no description, but lots of faces. Is that a half of a person? You're uncertain how to officially interpret the artworks, as Rosso's language and cultural set some barriers. You can only assume these drawings hold delicious religious context. Art shows holy officials baptizing babies. The sequence continues with baptized babies becoming older and eventually dying. Oh, okay. But there are those who are not baptized, given a different ending. Instead of ascending to heaven, they are seen simply rotting and dying as a soul trapped in a coffin, unable to escape. Baptize those babies! Oh, I don't like this. Everything down here is uncanny. You look down at your watch and notice that the hands on it have stopped moving. You 
Look ahead and get uncomfortable by how uncertain and dark it is. Despite the paranoid field urge, you look behind you. It looks exactly the same. The walls are ever repeating and warp your sense of security. You continue forward, but you're still slowed down by looking at the art around you. There's no pattern to some of these drawings. Some are people, animals, nature. You can go guess what they could all mean. One of the last few drawings is a large church. It vaguely reminds you of the basilica. The basilica is drawn as tall as it is wide. It's a row of eyes starting from the spire down to the front doors of the basilica. The higher you lift your light, you notice some words written. You can barely make out what it says and it doesn't make sense. Reading, I am alive and offer my body as a home. Hmm. You're suddenly distracted. You can hear something or someone else breathing. Oh, that's weird. You hold your breath, carefully scanning the area. That one's around. You're simply alone. You hold your breath, then press your ear closer to the pipe right beside you. You definitely hear something breathing. That's fine, the walls are just breathing. It's the sound from coming inside the pipe. Every time the breathing becomes tense or hoarse, the pipe makes rattling movements. These lengthy, cramped halls remind you of the catacombs back in France. You never went on tours for a few reasons. Thinking back on said catacombs, one inevitable fact about them are the graves and skeletal remains that haunt them. Don't think about that. These halls feel endless. There's no way all of this was built under a simple basilica, right? The echoes in your footsteps are the only noise you hear. As you advance, some twisted and odd-looking pipes sprout from the ground and walls. There's not too many to obstruct your path, so you debate on heading back to the entrance. Take a step backwards. Oh no! Oh good, we hear crying baby. That's not cursed. Someone, anyone, please help me. Someone, anyone, please help me. I'm trapped down here and my baby is sick. Please help us. They're definitely not trying to kill you. Hello? The light from the lantern you hold doesn't help much. You can't see far ahead. The desperate human voices echo and rattle the pipes. It's not- it's not a <laughs> A wonderful inside joke. Stay there, I can help you. I do admit it is a bit of a- a horror trope, but... <laughs> you pick up the pace and push yourself around the strange pipes. Despite this, the voices sound just as distant, if not further than before. Oh no! Oh no, that's a trap. That scream's a trap. I can still hear the baby. Pipes are now more dense and create a more difficult environment to clear. You stubbornly push past the dense forest of pipes. Pipes vibrate, create an echoing metal sound when you hit them. Some pipes prove to be more difficult than others. The way they tangle and interwine with one another reminds you of a spider's web. Yep, you're- yeah. How far am I going down? There's a small clearing and you silently thank the heavens for room to breathe. And you realize you're trapped at a dead end. Oh, that's good. Shine your light in all directions. And you find a small cavity in the wall. The idea of leaving someone down here. I don't like this has suddenly become a visual novel. The metal pipes grow smaller in population and the hallway feels more open. 
I don't like these sounds. Um. Hi. Yeah, you pick up the pace. No <laughs> one's a vampire priest, and you need one. <laughs> yeah, Virgil would kick all their asses. Each side of the walls have mirrors that reach from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. Mirrors? No. Bad. Looking into the mirrors for even a short period of time causes paranoia inside yourself. I shouldn't get distracted. There's a possibility someone is stuck down here. You hold your light source far from your chest, quickly examining the area. I don't see anyone yet. Your expectations for finding someone down here is swallowed by doubt and confusion. What could someone be doing down here? Finally, logic. With their child? Nevertheless, you press forward. Oh, this looks... Good. You walk several feet and see an opening in the wall, close to your left side. You shine a light into the hole and see a new path. It seems endless, no end in sight. Oh, that's... okay! They're giving me a save point right at a... a Ooh, continue on the current path or start a new path. Interesting. Okay, well, we have options. What happens if I continue on the current path? Sticking to your gut, you venture forward. Walking down the hallway, you call out to the voice you heard earlier. Hello, ma'am? There's no response. As much as you want to turn around, you continue forward. You walk for some time, hoping your flashlight won't die anytime soon. You close your eyes as you hit several spider webs, still walking, trying to wipe off the gross strings. You don't want to admit it. Something about these tunnels feels like it wants you gone. Oh no! Just then, your left foot doesn't catch solid ground, but a large opening. You stumble over your feet and fall into a dark pit. Ow. You wake up slow, seeing stars from pain that immediately registers from your head down to your feet. Ow. You slump over on your knees, sharp pain stabs at your neck and shoulders. Immediately the dangers of the situation settle in. You are fucked. The air is difficult to breathe. It feels like you're struggling to breathe through a filter. I'm still here. Just how long have I been sleeping? I can't find my light. I need to find it. You carefully pat your hands on the stone ground under you. It's dark. Your eyes can't adjust down here. You can't see your own hands in front of your face. You're swallowed by the darkness surrounding you. Your lantern is nowhere to be found. It's wet and moist. Voice down here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You feel around and find a slope that could potentially bring you back to before you fell. Uh, uh. You attempt to climb back up, but it's slippery. The slope feels like it was made of ice. It's easy to cut your hands just by attempting to climb back up. Your feet also make the situation worse as they fall into unstable pockets of soil and trap you. Anytime you make progress, your legs slip and you fall back down at the bottom. Stay at the bottom of the slope. Unsure what to do now. Don't panic. Don't freak out. Feel around the floor and walls, praying to find your lantern, a door, a new path. Ah, oh, wait. My matches. I should still have some. You fumble around with your bag. Thank the heavens that it's strapped to you. Oh, well, here we go. The match lights everything for a few minutes to find your lantern. It's beat up, but luckily the candle was protected. You successfully light the candle, bringing faith back into your system. It temporarily sends your mind off the pain in your spine. We might not actually be dead! Holy shit! Wow! I thought this was gonna be like, bad end. No, it's actually a different branch. Wow! Holy shit. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother. Guide me into your blessings. 
Halfway father, happy mother, guide me on your blessings. Halfway father, happy mother. Turning a corner, you find a new light source. Carefully you follow it, praying it provides an exit. You enter a strange corridor. You discover the source of the lights. The lights are coming from various scattered miner hats. There's no explanation why or how. All you care about is leaving. Uh, we will save this into a separate one. Okay, so we're here. Let's uh, see what the other one does. What happens if we start a new path? <laughs> Ignoring instinct! <laughs> you begin walking in this new tunnel. As you walk down, you notice the walls are becoming shorter and more compressed. Due to the uneven ground and tighter space, you're forced to contort your body to pass some areas. You pause to call out for that lost identif unidentified human. There's no answer. Feel a sudden gust of wind. Is this an exit? You hurry it up, quickly pushing yourself further into the tight space. You go from walking, carefully of careful of any low dips in the ceiling, to hunching your back to continue. There are stairs that lead downwards. The ceiling seems to pick up from here. The stairs take a while to venture on. The entire time you walk down, you notice how both of your shoulders are touching the walls surrounding you. It's getting tight. A vibrant red light leaks at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, okay. You find yourself with an entrance to another room. Okay, yeah, this will be this one. Okay, yeah, this is okay. This is different. Okay. We have created a branching path. Okay. Okay, we got some options here. Um, weird. There's a circle of clothes surrounding you. <laughs> Maybe. This feels like we're gonna get treasure. There's a circle of clothes surrounding you, forming a pattern. You see a mixture of hazard suits, priest uniforms, and miners' clothing. So what have we got? We got, like, a bunny rabbit, uh, like, bug man, and I can't even tell what's on this left wall. What is that supposed to be? The orgy is the treasure. Uh, well, let's, I don't know. Let's try Bugman. Oh, it's a human. This cannot be undone. Oh, okay. These are like important choices, eh? A deer. And a rabbit. Well, what's this? A ladder. Well, that's probably how you get out. A rabbit. Hmm. Uh, let's go with weird bug man. See what this does. You walk over back to the humanoid art. There's a jacket here, directly under the drawing. You pick up the jacket first and try to shake it. Personally, spiders and other bugs fly out of the jacket, landing on your shoes. You quickly try to shake them off. As you stomp on some of the spiders crawling around you, a lowly voice is barely heard. This thou Mmm. This thou A rusty key. Okay. Oh, there's a painting of a bunny rabbit in here. So in the painting of the other one as well. And a really creepy chair and like a torn up envelope. Oh, a picture. Oh, like a firefighter. 
Volunteer A, a group of seven, grabbing a mysterious pipe. Group did not notice any third hand that also grabbed a pipe. Oh! <laughs> nope. <laughs> a wooden stick. There's a second layer that overlaps and creates a triangle image. Huh. Weird. Okay. Uh, how do we get out of here? Um. Oh, okay. So we get to choose one of the other doors as well. Interesting. So we can choose a bunny or a deer. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, we saw that earlier. A single deer antler falls out. Strange. You don't question it. Oh, we're, we're here again. Oh, so we have to go through this no matter what. Interesting. So this leads us to this path no matter what. Huh. Interesting. So the other one basically just skips that one. Interesting. I at least want to see what is in the other rooms. Um, since we're lucky enough to have a, a save point there. So we picked the human door. What's in the what's in the deer door? Oh well, that's I don't like that. This is, you can see his brain. Single deer antler. Not happy to backtrack. Okay, that's it. There's nothing, there's nothing. Okay. You just get an antler. It just fucking falls out. That's it. Okay. So what, what, um, what happens if we do the bunny? Do we actually go into the room or does it just drop something? There's a hard hat directly under the drawing. And then a rabbit foot comes out. Okay. That's interesting. So the only one that actually has a room is the human one? Oh, but there is also that, um, that ladder we can take. Uh, sure, let's put a save point there. And then, what does the, the ladder do, then? What does the ladder do? Oh, there's a, there's a final one up here. Oh, super secret. What's this? Oh, it looks like it's the same paintings of the deer. Wait. Huh? Oh, super secret? What's this? What's this? Or is it just you just get stuck and you fall and you die? Oh. What is this? This room's so small and dark I can't seem to find an exit anywhere. 
Um, did I just fall to my death? Where am I? This room is so small. Still can't find an exit. There's nowhere to go. This water smells and my skin has burning. How am I supposed to get out of this hole? You roll your sleeves up and attempt to climb up the walls. You immediately slip and fall back into the water. You try again. You try again and again. You eventually become exhausted and would rather spend your remaining energy on scratching at the strange burning sensations growing under your skin. Uh-oh. Oh, yo. Okay, so that's death in that way. Okay. I. Is this the one with the, the, the thing that I got? Yes, deer antler and cross with symbol. Alright. Cool beans. No. Well, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Okay. Got some, like, metal grates here. A very noisy thing. Oops, sparkles. A weeding sickle. Weeding sickle, okay. Choices do matter, but just uh, sometimes you make the wrong choice. Um, hmm, a locked door, okay. There's a breeze. Could this door be an exit? Oh, I need to get a. I need to get a. Uh... Get a key, I guess. Maybe. It was that that bucket or whatever. What's this? An oil drum. Ooh, maybe I can poke it. Using the sickle, you hit the lid. Oh god! Oh, that's great. Once the lid is removed, small crowds of movement scatter around and strange substance inside in the in the ketchup. Thousands of maggots squirm and push around. There's a strong rotten sour stench overwhelming you. You first roll up your sleeves, then using the sickle, you disturb the top layer of whatever is sitting in this drum. You wouldn't be a horror protagonist if you ain't sticking your hand in, in, in gross things. It's foul, thick, and almost solid. It's like sledge, but also grainy like sand. As you move around, careful to not get any maggots on your exposed wrist, you hit something solid, small, and in the center of the barrel. Would this sickle even be able to grab such a small item? Nope, gotta stick your hand in! Yep. God, you toss the sickle away and replace it with your only remaining light source. Quickly before regret takes over, you dive a hand into the barrel, yup. You do your best to ignore the creeping, filthy little movements entangled on your hand. Found a key! Toss the key on the ground and wipe your hands and mind free of any remaining anxiety and underlying feelings. You now have the badge of honor as a horror protagonist. Just rice and tomatoes, yeah, yeah. Somebody left their lunch in there. It's fine, Riker, it's fine. Just ignore all the weird um, graves in the water. It's fine. It's, it's all good. Something in your gut tells, fights against you doing this. Open the door. It's a breeze. 
This must be an exit. Oh no! That's no good. Your low light catches everything behind this door. It's a closet. Occupied with a foul odor. Your eyes follow an imaginary path downwards, taking in the sight before you of what sits in the small space. Oh my god! You wretch upon the sight casted before you. The walls in this closet are made of flesh with tiny veins running along in uncertain patterns. Numerous body parts, internal and external, are seeping out of- This is the-, the you found the door to goddamn Silent Hill. There's an overwhelming stench, like puke and organs mixed together, left to rot and get sour. Zombie, Z-O-M-B-U-I. Ooh, I'll have to watch that. <laughs> Those aren't tomatoes. I'm gonna vomit! You dry heave and turn away, mindful to not drop your only light source. I need to get out of here. Say progress. <laughs> My very good idea. Um, I'm assuming we're not gonna take that room, Riker. I'm assuming we're not gonna take the room full of the uh, uh, ungodly horrors. Also, I feel like a water zombie would be terrifying because they're like bloated and gross. And you're already in the water and you're already scared and, and wet and unhappy. Ha! Oh, 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 ah! What was that? I don't know what that is, but it got me. Right as I was reading your comment about, yes, the, the freaking ethereal choir shit is so good in this game. I don't know what that is, but it's scary and I want to get away from it. There. Ah! It got me again! I was like, oh, what is that? And then. Mm. There are multiples of them, and that makes it even worse. D d just, just move. Just move. Just move. Just move. Just move. Just get going. Leave. Uh, I guess go back this way. Oh, there's a ladder. Sure. Just keep going and just keep going. You run despite the difficulty in breathing. As you run, you notice you're in a new, unrecognizable hallway. Hmm. I hear... I hear steps that aren't my own, and I don't like that. Let's get out of here. Oh. Well, this looks nice. Christ! How intense. I can't explain what just happened, but it's over now, right? I need to focus on what I came to do here. I can ask questions later. Hold on. You ain't gonna let me save. Is that a window? I can see trees and birds. I, I must be on the second or third floor, but yeah, I was just underground. Okay, let me save first. Jesus. What is with all the sparklies? So sparkly. No way. I are my eyes? Oh, hey, that's Leon. What the fuck? What's a picture of him doing here? This is a framed photograph of Leon. It's clearly Leon. So he did visit this church. I try to pick the object up. Ah! That hurt! It felt like- Oh, what the fu- Um. You look down to your fingertips and see vibrant red. My fingertips hurt. I try to wipe the blood off but stop when abrupt pain hits. Fingerprints are gone? It's like the skin was just sliced off. Or did this just happen? Or did it happen back in the catacombs? You make eye contact with the Leon photo in front of you. You grit your teeth and consider grabbing it. You grab it and pocket the item. Frame photo of Leon. 
let's just find the Bible and get out of here. They're about to leave when suddenly... Uh-oh. At least something just bit my wrist. My wristwatch. The glass just shattered by itself. It says 809. Uh-oh! Is it truly broken or is this another trick of my mind? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ignore everything I've witnessed. Just need to grab Leon's Bible and get out of here. Oh, we're here. Yeesh. Okay. Um, why is there a man in the... I don't... Mm. Step on it. It did break. I don't like it. Uh, oh, here's that creepy painting again. And that creepy painting. Why are there creepy men in the corners? Sparkle. Oh, I guess we found it. Is this it? <gasps> Perfect. It's not even scratched. Why did it make a squish? Got Leon's squishy Bible back. I'll have to clean the blood off. Oh, that was why. For my fingers when I get back to my motel room. And please bandage them. Alright, let's leave before that guy comes back. Oh, he's gonna come back. I bet you ten dollars. That creepy guy is gonna come back. Can I not go in there? Okay. I bet you ten dollarinos. You leave running out of the main basilica doors. You run through the courtyard, then in and out of the blue walled history hall. You open the doors that can lead you back to the Rosso Town Square in your hotel room. Keep running, only thinking of sleeping in a warm bed. <laughs> I got the Bible back. I got Leon's book back. Just keep running. Run, 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 run. You cling to Leon's Bible, reassuring yourself it hasn't left you again. Oh, that's gonna go down some possessed hallways and shit gonna get creepy. Oh, nice. I'm excited to hear that. Run for a nice bed, wrapped in blankets, watch TV, smoke a cigarette. Oh my god! Rip. Oh, he's not dead, though. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. My head hurts worse now. Oh. Um, I guess you're unconscious? Uh. That's gonna be an isekai! <laughs> it wasn't a white van, though. Maybe he'll just, uh, be half-transported. Where am I now? Um, nah, I guess this is a dream, given this weird ox. Oh, she like looks at you when you get closer. That's something. Eight. Mm. Ooh, rainbow. Rainbow. This is a totally regular ladder. Um, excuse me? What the fuck am I looking at? Is this how you like skin a rabbit or something? I might be too late to ask where I am. First projector shows how to skin rabbits. Okay, I was right. This one's like a gun. It's like being loaded. A vintage gun ad. This one's like a, a millipede or something. Centipede, same difference. Oh, and this is like pieces of a cow. A deer. 
This one's also about like meat processing. I love that the centipede is the one that makes you go yuck. Oh, this one's uh this one has like a, a curtain drawn. What could go wrong? Pull away the curtains to reveal whatever is behind them. Oh hi Leon. <laughs> oh there's the there's the fucking title face. I love that. He's just so done. Like, oh Jesus Christ. It's an image of Leon. Oh god, he like is like a balloon of blood. Is this blood? Oh no. Oh, it's basic. Hello. Ooh, excuse me. Hello, beetle. Face mask. Mask face. Face mask, man. Something something? Question mark. Riker Dublin. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a mask. It's very cracked. And he has a very large bow tie. Is that hair? I can't tell if that's hair behind it. It kind of looks like it. That's a cool mask. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, did you just speak in backwards French to me? Uh, great, now I got more numbers I gotta write down. Riker Dublin. Lucky numbers. Two six one one. What? what? Oh god, did you just crack your neck at me? Riker Dublin. You are to trust I, as I am to trust you. Lucky numbers. Two six one one. But you just said that already. Everything is circled back to you. That's what they tell me. You're really freaky. Who are you? Or, wait, who told you about me? Where am I? Uh, yeah, he keeps cracking his neck. A name does not serve any purpose to me, as I am made of multiple living creatures, all unique, and giving me one name would erase their identities. Oh my god, are you? Are you the guy? Are you? Are you the guy that, that the article was written about? The. The thing that was like, this guy had an eyeball of another person put in him, and then they did that a million other times with limbs, and his in insides were like crawling around. Hmm, maybe. That would explain why he would wear a mask. They guide me and told me my purpose is to assist you. Oh, okay. Riker, do you wish to proceed? Are you prepared for the path ahead of you? What do you mean? You proceed you'll only be greeted with despair proceed now and let me know uh follow me okay bug man dream bug man this is a photo like a, a camera reel i can help you so you are not entirely alone but I will not be with you for every moment. <laughs> you know you're ready. You know you're ready, come this way. <laughs> I will not be with you for every moment. As a warning, there is an underlying reason why you seek revenge. You seem unfit for a priest, correct? You're not tricking me out of my plan. That was not my intention. I'm here to guide you for success. Okay. Do I need to look at this? An old projector. Be cautious and unafraid. Your fate was determined by another, but you can change it now. Uh, play around the projector, trying to figure out how to turn it on. Be cautious and unafraid. Your fate was determined by another, but you can change it now. You said that already. Riker, are you truly ready for what's to come? I will ignore you if you keep repeating yourself. <laughs> the projector begins to make noise. Oh my goodness. What am I seeing? 
It was made for you. Hey, I rec- th These are my memories. This is all stuff from my past. You didn't know it during that time, but when you were born, your death was already predetermined. Ooh. Wasn't everyone's death predetermined? We all die in the end. Your death will not mimic those around you. We're starting over, and we're going to correct your fate. Oh, what? Uh, oh, uh, what? Oh. This was the day when Leon died. Ah, would you happen to have any yogurt cake? Oh, you do? The size doesn't matter, but the smaller one would be easy to carry. Ah, uh, it's for someone special. My friend is graduating, and it's also their birthday. So I wanted to surprise them. Thank you. It's difficult, but keep watching. There was something following your friend that day. Oh! That's an evil spirit. Um, what is going on? What is that noise? Noise? Yeah, you can't hear that coming from the tape? It hurts my ears. Who are these people flashing on the screen? What am I supposed to be hearing? Just keep watching. Um, I'm sorry? Who is that? Is Oh, he's stabbing. Oh, he's shooting. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I can't hear you. Something, something. Spooky eyes. Who's on the screen? Basilio Dante. Oh, do we have a name of the guy we're after now? He's the one that killed Leon, and he's tracking me down as we speak. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God! Riker, before you go, I need to remind you of your inviolable identity. It repeats in my mind, so it must be true. Do you remember the sequence of numbers I'm about to tell you? 2611. Tell me when you discover the answer. Dude, I just got shot in my own goddamn dream! All sounds suddenly stop as if there was a switch that turned them off. Wait, is that rain? I'm not entirely sure what's going on. You tune in to the sound of a car running. A car... Oh right, you were just hit by a car, weren't you? Ah! I'm alive! Ah! Oh! Uh. <laughs> what a lot! Oh my god. Driver hits the brakes, causing both you and the stranger to smack your heads. Ow. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> what a fucking situation we're in right now. Both parties in unison groan in pain. Oh, fuck. Is my dashboard dented? No. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. It hurts to breathe. My ribs hurt like hell. Oh, right. I'm super sorry. When you screamed, you scared me, so I hit the brakes. I thought you were dead, too. So... <laughs> wow. It must have hit you pretty good. My bruises are already starting to turn purple. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. But it didn't make my headache or neck any better. Did I give you whiplash? Wh whiplash? Did I hurt your neck? So you were the one that really hit me. I'm surprised you're alive. I was going to drive you to the hospital, but um, you weren't responding so uh, well. Hold on, I can't hear you well. My hearing's a bit fucked right now. Huh? My head hurts so much. My nose and ears are bleeding. 
how hard was I hit with the car? Is my nose broken? Look at your hands. They're visibly shaking. That or your eyes can't focus and the world around you is spinning. Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? What? I'm taking you to the hospital. Please d don't. Even coughing hurts. You look miserable. Are you sure you don't want me to take you to a hospital? I'm fine. You're bleeding and bruised. I don't have health insurance. I mean, I'm assuming foreigners pay for their own hospital bills, even in an accident, right? Yes, they'll expect you to pay. Are you going to sue me to pay for the bills? If I could afford a hospital bill, then I could afford a lawyer. He looks pale. Are you weak to blood? Yes. Wait, no way. This might sound crazy. I think I know who you are. Yes, it's coming back to me now. Oh yeah, we, we talked earlier. You were the tourist who asked about the Basilica. That's why you were at the front gates. Oh yeah, thanks for the information. Do you believe in the rumors now? You almost died. It's a miracle you're even talking right now. I'm staying at the Magic Rabbit Motel. Please just drop me off there. Earlier you were speaking in French. Oh we oui. Do you speak French too? I do not, but it's a very romantic language. Oh my god, please drop you off. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Actually, I broke all of my bones falling on my ass. You speak Italian? Very nicely. Your accent doesn't hold you back. The stranger drives at a slow speed for some time. Eventually you see the familiar motel neon lights in the distance. He pulls into the parking lot. Arrived. You can get out now. Hmm. I'm going to ask you not to press any charges. Ah, uh, really? At least you weren't hit. It's too late. He shut the door and drives off. Is everyone here an asshole? I almost forgot. Oh yeah, this thing? Bug VHS. Guy in my dream. Something about 2611? Gave me a VHS. Do I always have this? I'm just dreaming about it? Let's just get the room and sleep. Oh, his sprite is dinged up now. <laughs> Ay ay ay. What does it say? Flat rates, 100% refrigeration. Historic property. I'm, uh, we got the book. I'm assuming it didn't fall out of our bag a uh, second time. Someone is saying this. Oh, the rain must have stopped in this area. The lights are on, so he must be home. Oh, we're him now. We've come to some very purple house with lots of flowers in front of it. Oh my goodness. What is this house? It's very pretty. Oh, his name is Akardi. Hmm. I think technically we are considered in Act 2 now. I will probably hop in and do Act 2 tomorrow, so look forward to that. I'll chisel your gravestone. Sleep well!